Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'll try my best to help you fix audio problems, audio issues, audio uh, related issue that you have in Rust. And it's very annoying because you can't really play the game. Like, how you supposed to play a game as you where there's no sound or its sound is lagging. So I'll try my best to help you, uh, show you a couple of ways. And also, if you're new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe for daily tutorials. I love creating tutorials, uh, tutorials and uh, ways to fix tutorials about how you can fix stuff, or tutorials about software, stuff that I'm learning, uh, about the editing software. So make sure you subscribe for more tutorials, and also make sure you leave your results in the comment section, because I really want to know if that's uh, if my methods, if what I showed you in this video worked. And I'll create a part two if there's uh, if there's need. And a lot of comments say it didn't work. So thank you, and I'll let you jump right in the video. So what you have to do first is obviously like check your audio. So click on your audio, right click, and go to open sound settings in here. Make sure you select your right output. This might be a very obvious thing to you, but please be careful and check this. Every single time I like to check this because sometimes uh, the speakers, the audio from the Samsung Q2U microphone will actually start to use it as an output and also as an input because it has, you can hear your voice uh, live. So I'm just saying that you should check your audio sometimes right now. Maybe that's the fault. So also now input, this is for your microphone, but make sure you now you click on more sound settings and then here in more sound settings we have recordings we have playback and play make sure you have the right microphone selected click on it and then select cell default and right click and then here select show and show this disabled devices and show disconnected devices and you know just look through all the playbacks all the outputs listed here and then just set default Okay, now after you set the default, click on it and then select, click on properties here in properties. Make sure you levels, you have this turned to 100%, maybe turn to, maybe set to 0% and that's why you don't have any sound. And also if that didn't work, you still have this problem, you can also disable special sound format, I already have it turned it off. And also um, turn off exclusive and hardware acceleration and signal enhancements and if there's no uh, you know, didn't work, you can turn them back on, you can check them, okay? Now you can also go to troubleshoot settings, and here you can click on other troubleshooters, and here look for audio, here we have playing audio, click on it, actually click on the run button, and this will run, and look if there's any problems on your computer, if there's any errors that is affecting your audio, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Actually, there's you can also test if there's uh, you have there's an update that is not you don't have it on your computer, and that's what is. That's what is, uh, and this is what prevents it. So make sure you click on audio and then here you write update drivers, and then write update driver search browse let me pick select here the right model if that didn't work so click on update search automatically and that didn't work as well you can also go to windows update and not not updating your windows not necessarily what i'm talking about it's usually here advanced options and then optional update and here you should see a huge list of available drivers available to download and install click all of them then click on download and install okay this is what you have to do and now the next method is to simply leave your results in the comment section i'm very curious to see if that work and thank you for watching and i'll see you now in the next video take care